What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is DJ Rick Webb and on today's video I'm going to be building my bridal show boop. This specific bridal share gives a space of a 10 by 8 booth with a white 8 foot high um, pipe and drape behind me and then two side 3 foot high white pipe and drapes as well. So I'm going to clear out some space behind me here and create the size booth that I have to work with. We're going to be attempting to mount a TV to a T-bar. I got some... Uh, I got a TV mount. We're gonna try and make that work. I'm pretty sure we can make it, make it work. We're gonna do some DIY stuff, and uh, we're gonna try and space out and set up the booth and see if it all fits and works together. So that way, when I get there, it's just goes up like nothing. Anyways, get back here in a second. So overall, in the basement here, this is actually about 10 feet wide, and 8 feet is from where those totes are in that to right about where I'm standing. So this is the booth size we got to go with. Like I said, first thing though. We're we'll working on mounting my 43 inch high sense TV, 4K TV, onto a T bar using this um, $30 TV mount I got off of Amazon. So, the first part in this process is to mount these rails right here that are going to attach to the main bracket on the back of the TV. Now that these rails are connected to the TV, we can move on to taking the latching bracket that the rails will attach to attaching them to oak clamps and then attaching that to the t-bars and then in theory when this is on the t-bars we just latch this onto that and then we got a, a tv hanging from a t-bar here we go so i made a discovery this is the bolt for the oak clamp the america dj mega oak clamp it doesn't fit through this slot which i needed to to mount so what i did was i used a drill and a machine um steel bit and Drilled out these holes a little bit so that it fits through now. So now I can actually connect it to the O-clamp. Like I said, drilled it out. So I already got one on here, but the key to actually getting these on here, because you can't actually turn this wing nut here, is to turn the O-clamp instead. And just hold the, you don't even really need to hold the wing nut, you just gotta turn the O-clamp. Until you get it all the way down to the point where it locks down. Which for me is going to be right about there. So now we got two O-clamps on here. All locked up, ready to go, and now we can attach it to the T bar. So, all I'm doing is just tighten down the O clamps. The bracket itself is not centered on the T bar. The bracket itself is off center from the T bar, but that doesn't matter because when I mount the TV, the brackets are closer so I can actually mount the TV center to the T bar. Now, we're going to actually put the T bar, the TV up there, and uh, mount it up. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's, and there's a TV. Mounted on a T-bar. So I went ahead, added a white scrim to that, as well as set up that T-bar with the two movers. That's kind of like the backdrop I'm working with. I'm digging it. You guys can't tell, that's a 43 inch TV, that's huge. I look dope. So I'm being lazy right now and I really don't want to hook up any lights. So I'm just kind of like eyeing out how it looks right now inside the booth and then making judgments. Day two. Well, day one came to a close on um building this out. I was doing it, I was doing it pretty late. So back down here to the next day working on the bridal fair booth. Pretty good, pretty good overall idea of what I'm gonna do here. Just a quicker look in here we basically got the O clamp which is attached to the bracket here and then this clamps onto that and actually there's a safety cable there's a safety latch right here that latches it on on either side to the actual t-bar so when you first hang it up you just hang it on those and then you tilt it back and you latch it with the bottom clamps so that way it's secured on also these cannot slide all the way over they have stoppers and also, you have the Omega clamps, which also cannot slide all over. I posted this quickly on Snapchat, and people said, how stable is it? This thing is more stable than these are. This TV weighs less than one of these movers. These movers are stupid heavy. It's not a big deal. It's pretty easy. Also, someone asked about, like, attaching that to 
trussing. You can do the same thing that I just did there with the with the O clamps. Literally, just turn these O clamps, and uh, there's different slots throughout this bracket that you can mount them. So just mount it at whatever slot in the bracket lines up with the back or with the spacing on your trussing, and you can attach TV to your trussing no problem the same way. Or you can leave it like I have there and hang it on a horizontal piece of trussing instead of like a vertical post, like a uh, like a totem. Got all the parts placed where I want them and ran power to them and DMX to them. This is basically what the booth is looking like right now. So that will go into standby mode hopefully here in a bit in the SC and that's what it'll look like the rest of the time. Um, I'll show you guys what we're doing back there. But this is the part that's going to be hanging off of this facade. Not too big of a deal there. DMX running into it. This part is just going to be on white. It's just a white standby part. I'm going to be lighting up the sign up front. Um, TV, TV, TV. TV mounted on 43 inch. This is a 43 inch TV mounted on top of a T-bar. We discussed that already. Uh, moving heads, I ended up cutting that up. This, Like I said, this is going to go up higher. Behind here though, this is where all the PARs are at. It's nine PARs behind here, so I have five of the AJ RGB UVs behind here. And then the Mega PAR profiles, there's two underneath of each of those. So like I said, the SZ is just going to be running on standby mode. It's going to do that standby thing with all the colors and stuff. Just as basically an eye catcher to be like, hey, we're real DJs. The laptop up here is going to be running Chave Show Express. As you guys know, this is my Chave Show Express laptop. And the Chave Show Express is down here on the left. And guys, all these cables are like loosely running around the place. I'm not going to spend the time in my basement when I'm trying to mock up the setup to clean up my cables. I will worry about that at the event. Anyways, loading up Chave Show Express now so I can program, mock program all of these lighting. Two hours later. And ladies and gentlemen, I have completed my programming. So this is what it's basically looking like right now. So right now the two innos Again, they're going to be up way higher than what they are, but they're doing just a little rotation on the ground with some spirals with the prism effect. The part that's going to be mounted up here is just doing like a slow fade between green, blue, and pink. Then we got like a mint green wash. It's really hard to see on camera, but that is a... It, wow, that looks terrible on camera. It looks way better in person, I can tell you that right now. But we got like a mint green wash on the tripods. You can't really tell the back wash what's going on here. But all five of them are on blue right now. You can kind of see it up above. It looks like it looks purple. And the wash FX is also running on a nice little mint green. So right now, uh, it's hard to tell, but that is what my bridal show is kind of looking like. Remember, the TV will be on displaying something. We'll have 12 foot ceilings. The venue is like, it is super nice. Like probably the nicest place I've ever been in um, that we're going to be in. It is at the Embassy Suites in North Greensboro, North Carolina at the airport exit. This is pretty much it guys for the bridal show setup. Um, basically it took me two days to do this, but I have it where I want it now. This is what I want to do for it. I'm going to now basically tear everything down pack it up and one thing that's really nice is this is a very compact system right here I mean this folds up into a little bag the pars all go in a bag this thing's the biggest thing when it's torn down this and the SZ case um, those are the biggest things and the TV I guess but other than that it's pretty simple pretty easy to break down and it's not gonna take up too much room on the six hour journey down to North Carolina Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like this amazing, awesome video and you're looking forward to the bridal show, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this amazing, awesome channel because you never know what I'm going to be posting on here. It could be a gig log. It could be a bridal show. It could be a product review. Product reviews are coming, guys. I have a list of product reviews to make. Actually, I have a list of videos in general to make, and it's a lot. Anyways, guys. Like always, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning. I will see you guys next time. Peace.